finish this up real quick. We're going to practice D, which sounds like, did you guys come up in, with an answer and agreement? Mm -hmm. Okay, well, we'll go through it real quick, make sure we're all on the same path, and then we will practice multiplying and dividing complex numbers real quick before you guys get some work done. All right. So, okay, guys, what do we know on D here? Z is 2 plus 2i square roots of 3. What do we know? A is 2, B is 2 square root. Okay, A is 2, B is 2 square root of 3. Now what? R equals the square root of 2 squared plus 2 square root of 3 plus 1 square root of 3. Okay, R is square root of 2 squared plus 2 square roots of 3 squared. So if we clean that up, 2 squared is the easy one, that's 4. Over here, 2 squared is? 4. four. four. Square root of 3 mm -hmm. squared is? 3. three. three. 4 times 3 is? 12. 12. So then we end up with 12 plus 4, four which is? 16. 16. And so we find out that R is? 4. 4. Okay. What else? Okay. So tangent of theta, b over a, 2 square root of 3 two's over 2. The 2's cancel, which makes it much nicer. So now I have that tangent of theta is square root of 3. Okay, we want to know at what angle does tangent equal square root of 3, or in our words, theta is the tangent inverse of square root of 3. So, what do we know? According to our basic chart, tangent of pi over 3 is square root of 3, right? Now, the question becomes, is that the right angle or not? It's a positive. So, if it's positive, it's going to have to be, let's see, it's going to have to be positive, or quadrant 1 or 3. What do you know about A and B? A and B were both positive, and so that's going to put us in quadrant 1. Okay, and that's because this would have been the ordered pair 2, comma, 2 square root of 3. So, we end up with theta being pi over 3. I think that's like our first quadrant 1 angle, isn't it? The others have not been in quadrant 1. Okay, write it out if you have it. Z equals 4 times cosine of pi over 3 plus I times sine of pi over 3. Okay, was that good rehearsal, good practice? Do we really need all this work proof? No. I mean, I wrote kind of big and I maybe took up to half a page. I, three, I have three lines per thing we're doing there. Now, teaching, I may change that up and you may get more or less lines, but. Okay, guys. Um, on the back side, multiplying and dividing these complex numbers. So you've seen the complex number. It's kind of a, you know, big form with the R times cosine theta plus I sine theta. So the question is, how do we multiply these? And we have some rules here. So given Z1 and Z2, defined with R1 and R2, theta1 and theta2, then we have our rules here. To multiply Z1 and Z2, it's R1, R2, or R1 times R2, times cosine of theta1 plus 2, and I sine theta1 plus theta2. To divide, pretty much the same thing except instead of multiplying R1 and R2, you divide R1 and R2. And instead of adding theta1 and theta2, you subtract theta1 and theta2. Okay? So, with that in mind, we have Z and W, which are in the trig form of a complex number. We're being asked to find ZW and Z divided by W. You ready? Not 
It might look bad at first glance, but it's not. I mean, you got the formulas right in front of you. Okay, so in order to do Z times W, well, R1 times R2. What are my R1 and R2? 5 and 7. 5 and 7, so 5 times 7. And then it says times cosine of theta 1 plus theta 2. What's theta 1 and theta 2? 3 pi over 5 and pi over 3. So this is going to be cosine of 3 pi over 5 plus pi over 3. Okay? Plus, whoops, I put that parenthesis too soon. Plus, then it's I times sine of, guess what? Theta 1 plus theta 2. So... 3 pi over 5 plus pi over 3. Now, basic cleanup. And just like what we were doing on the front side mostly recently, we're going to leave these in that trig form of a complex number. Okay. So, cleanups that we can do. Okay. Big math here. 5 times 7 is 35. What else? What has to be true in order to add 3 pi over 5 and pi over 3? Common denominator. Common denominator. What would be a common denominator between 5 and 3? 15. So if we make them 15, 5 times 3 is 15. So on top? 9 pi. 3 times 5 is 15. So on top? 5 pi. Okay, so yes, 14 pi over 15, which I'll rewrite in the next step. So then what are we going to do over here at sine? Same thing. Same thing. You're going to have to get that common denominator, 9 pi over 15 plus 5 pi over 15. So final answer, z times w is 35 times cosine of 14 pi over 15 plus I sine 14 pi over 15. It looks worse than it is, yes? Okay. Now, the other thing we're asked to do is we're asked to find Z divided by W. So, in order to find z divided by w, r1 divided by r2, which is going to be 5 divided by 7 times cosine of theta 1 minus theta 2. So, yep, 3 pi over 5 minus pi over 3. And then... It's still plus I sine, and again, theta 1 minus theta 2, so 3 pi over 5 minus pi over 3. Okay. Five sevenths. Cosine, 3 pi over 5 minus pi over 3, just like previously, you're going to have to think common denominator, yes. So this time you'll end up doing 9 pi over 15 minus 5 pi over 15 in both the cosine and th signs. And what do we know about 9 pi over 15 minus 5 pi over 15? Okay, so we have 5 sevenths times cosine of 4 pi over 15 plus I times sine of 
4 pi over 15. Now, I just laid down my notes. And I wonder, okay, so what we did right here is trig form, correct? And I just glanced down in my notes, and I also have a decimal form. And so my thought is, if I have decimal form, what do the directions in the homework say? That's a good question. Because that's my guess as to, you know, why I would do that, right? Is it, and probably, it was probably in regards to something in the homework. Let's see. Or did I? Well, okay, I do not have any of them as decimals in the homework. So not a huge issue there, unless I just didn't assign those, but, okay. Um, you could get these in decimals forms, yes. Okay. Um, if we were going for decimal form, you would want to distribute the 35 in this case, or distribute the five sevens, and put this into your calculator. Does that make sense? I don't think I'm going to stress about it since I don't necessarily see it in the homework. I'll double check that here in a moment, though. Okay, so your homework. Page. Is this the 503? Yes. 1 through 6, and... 19 through 26, I believe. Yep. And you have some work time. 